Hey, this is Greg. Um, a couple nights ago I was out running and came across a real life mystery that maybe someone out there can help me with. As I was running on West Main Street in Cheshire, I just happened to catch a glimpse of a piece of paper that was on the ground at the side of the road. And, um, you know, it was a, a noticeably a, a document of some sort. And what caught my eye was there was some sort of military uh, logo or insignia on it. And so I stopped to get a better look at it. Unfortunately, this document had been uh, run over by at least one car, maybe more. Uh, so it is slightly damaged. But um, it is a certificate of completion for a course that a young soldier took some time ago. And I'll just uh, read it out to you. It's um, from the Ordnance Special Service School, Motor Transport. Uh, out of Hollibird Ordnance Motor Base in Baltimore, Maryland. And, you know, it's not so unusual that someone would get a certificate of completion, but in this case, um, this is a piece of history that I've got in my hand because this is an original document, okay? It's not just some copy of something. An original document, it's got the, uh, you know, official raised seal on it. It's got the... Uh, Signatures in ink looks like it was made with an old-school, um, you know fountain pen that you dip into the little bottle of ink um, It's dated from 1942 so this is a course that uh, like I say some young soldier took back in 1942 and uh, You know basically this this uh, this person uh, probably completed his um, you know, course, uh, this exact document in my hand was given to him with a handshake and a congratulations, and he then most likely hopped on a troop transport ship and went over to Europe and perhaps started dropping bombs on Jerry. Um, who knows, but um, th like I say, this is a piece of history here, so it, it certifies uh, Private Charles J. Sabinski, uh, traditional spelling, gives his... Uh, serial number, if you will, of the Ordnance Department, and he's completed this uh, course satisfactorily September 18th, 1942. Now, uh, like I say, it's signed by uh, First Lieutenant uh, Leiter and his uh, Assistant Commandant, uh, C.E. Kelly. So, um, like I say, this is, uh, you know, I, I've done some uh, research online trying to find this uh, person. Now, first of all, uh, I checked with my local uh, veterans commander, and he never heard of this person, uh, leading me to believe that uh, he's not from Cheshire around here or was ever active in any veterans organizations around here. Uh, so, again, in going online looking for him, I did uh, discover he was born back in 1917, and sadly passed away back in 1995. So, you know, it's odd enough that this piece of paper, this original document, would be lying on the ground up in Cheshire um, here in 2016. The gentleman passed away some 21 years ago at the age of 78. Um, how did it get here? What's it doing here? Um, I don't know. I just don't know. So, um, you know, evidently, again, from my online research, he hailed from uh, uh, somewhere in New Jersey, and that is um, uh, also, it appears, where he uh, lived out the final days of his life, in some town in northern New Jersey, outside of New York City. So, again, uh, Charles J. Sabinski, uh, if anyone knows anything about this person, a family member who might live in the area, I would like to um, get this back to them and uh, I'm going to hang on to it for a while, um, see what I can find out, see if I get any feedback, and uh, if not, I will uh, either frame it and keep it for myself or perhaps donate it to a um, historical society. So that's all for now. Let me know if you know anything. Thank you. That's all.